Okay, what is this? Like, where are the knobs even? How do I, do I use it? A frightening new release by Mixland. This might be the strangest plugin I've ever seen. And it sounds as demented as it looks. And we love it. It's called Steam Driver. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixfest TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugin, special discounts and offers, and an exclusive discount code for Mixland Steam Driver, the plugin we are seeing today. For Mixbus TV viewers, use this code. It's gonna be in the info box down below to bring the price down to $9.99. And if you really want to learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish on so many different genres, mastering courses, special videos, and a lot more. And if the videos are helping you, please consider using the super thanks and support the channel. Let's see this insanity. I'm going to start with the GUI. Just look at it. <laughs> this is the plugin. This is the plugin with the animation, which you can turn on and off, by the way, just in case you want to save some CPU. We could actually play a game. What do you think this plugin does? Write it in the comment down below before I even tell you what it does. And also tell me where are the knobs? I want to see who gets them all. But if you ever needed a tutorial video on a plugin, this might be it. So what Steam Driver is? Steam Driver is a channel strip, very easy to use, comprised of three modules, compression, saturation, and simple EQ. And they were modeled after a non-disclosed collection of rare pieces of gear, which haven't been modeled yet. The only thing we know is that they were very aggressive and very colored unit, a class A EQ and a VCA compressor. As for the distortion unit, we don't know anything, but it sounds really cool. It doesn't resemble any piece of gear or plugin that we ever seen before. Instead, they went for this crazy steampunk GUI. That's why I'm wearing this shirt to match. We start with the first tank, which looks like a pressing machine. This is our compressor module. And I don't know if you guessed all the controls, but we have at the top comp mix from 100 to zero. We have a low boost, and then we have a threshold control, which basically is your overall amount of compression. And then at the bottom here, we have two levers, and these are two settings for attack and release, and you can even zoom in, right, to take a better look at both the threshold and the two levers. I'm right now bypassing everything else, so we only hear the compressor. So you can hear with the attack lever up, the attack is super fast and it smashes everything they release. When the lever is in the low position, it's slower and keeps everything under the curve. When it's up, it's faster. A very aggressive compression. This channel strip is great for drums or synths or bass. We'll try on some things. We are smashing it all the way right now and can use the mix knob. It sounds really cool. At the top here, you have input and output levels if you want to compensate. Definitely a super colored compressor. So let's go back to zero here and let's take a look at the second tower, our second module, which is the saturation. And for this one, I'm going to turn on the animation because it's cool. Here next to our animation and zoom button, we also have oversampling. You can see up to eight. And again, we have our saturation mix wheel. This is not a knob. And then we have a high boost. So you can see you have low boost here and high boost here, our class A EQ. And at the bottom, again, we have our amount of saturation and our two levers at the bottom control even and odd harmonics. And the other is just a saturation color, a different color for the saturation. Let's hear it in action.
Then we have the top end, let's try it. Well, it definitely makes this run more interesting, but there's one last knob hidden in our steam pump torture device, which is this wheel right here, which is a stone shaper and uh, Mixland tells us this is helpful to place things back and forth in the mix. Yeah, you can hear it's probably a notch filter or comb filter that is moving around or band passing also uh, could be involved in this filter. It is what it says in the tin, it's a tone shaper quick way to just change the tone and the color of an element. Let's try it on something else. Synth bass. I think it's super, super cool. I love using this plugin, it's like so fun. I think if you have a client mixing with you and he doesn't know anything about this, he's, he thinks probably you're playing some kind of game. Awesome. Really, really cool. Let's try something else. You can tell me this thing is not cool. And it's only $14.99. And with the discount that we have, Mixbus TV 6000, it's gonna be in the info box down below. You will get it for $9.99. Synth sequence. I don't care what you think, I'm having the time of my life using this plugin. It is fun, it is so fun. I like it, I don't care. And with the discount that we have exclusive for you guys, which is gonna be in the info box down below, you snatch this for $9.99. And I think the, the regular price is $14.99 and the code is valid for 60 days. Take advantage of it. I think this is the video. I mean, this plugin is awesome. The GUI is awesome. Mixland did a great job and they already released some very popular plugins. And again, this is not just for fun and game. Aside from the very peculiar GUI, you have oversampling, you have real analog modeling. So give this a shot. But I wanna know what you guys think in the comment down below. And I wanna know if you get 
guessed right. All the knobs and the levers and says, don't cheat. If you like the video, please don't forget to leave a like. Use the super thanks if you want to support the channel. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.